Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 22 on the new general curriculum math subtest. This is a fun problem. It involves algebraic word problems and algebraic computation. I'm going to start with number 22 and I'm going to read it over with you so we can work through some of these things that are going on in the problem and, and work through the math. When we read it over, we always want to first understand what's going on. So let's read to understand. Here we go. Number 22, it says, The formula L is equal to pi times the quantity of R1 plus R2 plus 2D calculates the length of a belt around two pulleys whose radii are R1 and R2 if the distance between their centers is D. I'm going to come back to that. Which of the following formulas could be used to calculate R1? The radius of one of the pulleys. Now, I know most teachers are saying to themselves right now, this is throwing me off, right? And, and all this R1 and R2 stuff and, and D and the R1 that we're trying to solve for and this, this is, this is really uh, tripping me up. That's true. I think there's a, lot of, there's a lot of math here that's going on. But you know what, when a problem like this happens, I like to focus on the stuff that I am familiar with. For example, um, these, this thing. So everyone circle the belt around two pulleys. See, that's actually, that's, that's something that I can, we can all, you know, kind of visualize. A belt around two pulleys. That's like a, here's a two pulleys that's made up of two circles. And the belt is that, is that chain that's wrapping around these two pulleys. Is that right? That chain's going around these two pulleys. And each one of these pulleys, uh, these, these circles here, they, they have like a, a radii. So we'll call this radii 1 and radii 2. And there's a distance between the center of these two pulleys. We'll call that distance 1. Now, what I'm doing is I'm starting with these two things, the belt and the two pulleys. And I'm working through that image so I can understand, I have an understanding of what this formula, how it's being applied. We're going to use this formula to find the length of this chain using the radius of both those pulleys, those circles, and the distance between those two. Now, maybe you're saying to yourself, um, you know, Chris, I've never done a problem like this before, uh, a, a problem that involves, you know, finding the length around two pulleys. Well, you know, team, it's out there. In fact, if we were to Google it right now, we'd find lots of math on finding the distance between two pulleys or the belt around two pulleys. So let's do that now. Doing a Google search, you do find a lot. A lot of math involving the distance around two pulleys. And it, it uses similar images and similar pulleys. And, and you know what? The math here involved in something like finding the belt length, you know, it's pretty hefty. And I think it falls outside of general knowledge. But uh, it appears on your test not so much as something that you're going to actually have to solve. But in fact, this problem has very little to do with working through this formula and, and solving this formula. It has to do with, given a formula, can you do some algebraic computation to solve for a variable? So having an understanding of this is good, and it helps at least understand the problem. But it's not required. It is a, not a requirement answering the question. The question wants us to take this formula and solve for this variable. And you can think of a formula, and I want you to think of all geometry formulas and algebra formulas as equations. And we can, on either side of these, of this equal sign, we can, we can solve for different variables depending on what's on one side of the um, equal sign. So I'm going to rewrite this equation out as L is equal to pi times the quantity of radius 1 plus radius 2 plus 2d. And I'm going to circle the r1 because that's the variable that we're going to solve for. And we're going to solve for, we're going to solve for this problem in three easy steps. Okay? The first step, trying to isolate the r1 because that's what we're trying to solve for, the length of one of the pulleys. We're going to do minus 2d on both sides. And let's rewrite it as L minus 2D is equal to pi times the quantity of R1 
plus R2. These cancel each other out. All right? Now we got to do the second step. Before I do the second step, I always want to circle the R1 to remind myself I'm solving for R1. We're going to second step is divide by pi on both sides. This conveniently cancels out the pi on this side where the R1 is. And let's rewrite it. Now we have L minus 2D divided by pi is equal to R1 plus R2. I'm going to circle the R1 and do our last step. Trying to isolate the R1, we would subtract R2 from both sides. I'm just going to write it here, R2, and cancel it out. Now it cancels out here, and we're left with R1 is equal to this thing. Right? You don't necessarily need to know what that thing is. All you need to know is that this is the expression that represents R1. Now, which one of these matches up to this? Well, if you look closely, it should be B. Look at B. R1 is equal to the length minus 2D divided by pi, and then subtract our R2. We've just solved for R. Whatever formula they give you, usually on the elementary school level, you can solve it in three steps. Okay, team, the answer is B. I hope you enjoyed this problem. Have a great day, team. Take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year, we're holding workshops in math, science, English, and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.